well have you ever visited the beautiful city of kerala and enjoyed a boat ride on the backwaters of this region well if you haven't then you must plan for a trip to this beautiful city kerala is so beautiful and unique that it is also known as god's own creation now kerala is a part of coastal plains of india let's locate this region on map of india well this map shows some of the major physiographic divisions of peninsular india like peninsular plateau coastal plains and the mountain ranges of southern india now in our previous two lessons we have vividly talked about peninsular plateau this plateau forms the central and southern part of india and the region is bounded by western ghats on its western sides and eastern ghats on its eastern sides now in today's lesson we shall be discussing about another major physical feature of peninsular india that is the coastal plains well these coastal plains are very long and they form the margin of the indian peninsula the plain lying to the west of western ghats is known as western coastal plain and the plain lying to the east of eastern ghats is known as eastern coastal plain so western coastal plain and eastern coastal plain comprises the entire coastal plains of india and as we can see here it is very long also the eastern coastal plain and western coastal plain meet at the southernmost tip of mainland india that is kanyakumari so kanyakumari is the meeting point of western coastal plains and eastern coastal plains now we shall discuss about each of these plains in details individually well as we know the western coastal plain forms the western margin of peninsular india and it stretches from gujarat to kerala and it also crosses the states of maharashtra goa and karnataka so the western coastal plain is quite large and it can be broken into three parts konkan kanand and malabar so these are the three major divisions of western coastal plains also the western coastal plain is highly indented and here we find some natural harbors one such harbor is the mumbai port which is the largest harbor of india well now let me explain you what are harbors a harbor is a partially enclosed area at the base or river mouths and since this region is semi enclosed so they can protect the ship from waves winds and ocean currents so here at the harbors the ship can be safely anchored so when a coastline is highly indented there we find natural harbors and one such harbor is mumbai port and in fact it is the largest harbor of india well before proceeding with our lesson let us try to answer this objective dash is the largest harbor of india and the options given are mumbai kolkata chennai haldia which of them do you think is the correct one well you can't remember we just read that mumbai is the largest harbor of india so the correct option will be mumbai as mentioned previously at the eastern margin of the peninsular india we have eastern coastal plains eastern coastal plain stretches from urissa to tamil nadu and it also comprises a small portion of andhra pradesh again the eastern coastal plain can also be further divided into two parts the northern part is known as northern circus and the southern part is known as koromandal coast well in our previous lesson while discussing about the tekken plateau i mentioned that a number of peninsular rivers originate from the western ghats and then they flow eastwards to join the bay of bengal now some of these rivers are mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri these rivers form huge deltas at their mouth 
and the deltas formed by these rivers are also the part of eastern coastal plains. So, eastern coastal plain consists of deltas formed by peninsular rivers. And these deltas, as we know, is a triangular shaped or fan shaped alluvial plain that is formed due to huge deposition of silt and alluvium brought by these rivers. Well, another interesting feature of the eastern coastal plain is the presence of lagoons. Now, what are lagoons? Lagoons are salt water lakes which were once a part of a huge sea but somehow got separated from the main body of water. Now the largest lagoon of India is Chilka Lake which is a part of eastern coastal plains and belongs to the state of Orissa. The Chilka Lake is rich in biodiversity and contains some endangered species like green sea turtles. Also, a host of migratory birds and some fishes can be found here. Thus, Chilka Lake in Odisha is a home to many migratory birds and sea green turtles. Now, due to this, Chilka Lake is also an important tourist attraction of Odisha. So, we discussed that coastal plain is a major physiographic division of India that forms the margin of peninsular India and this can be divided into two parts western coastal plain and eastern coastal plain. We shall now compare between these two plains. Western coastal plain as we know is a narrow strip of coastal plain which is bordered by western ghats on one side and Arabian sea on the other side. Conversely, eastern coastal plain is comparatively wider and it is bordered by Eastern Ghats on one side and Bay of Bengal on the other side. The second point of distinction is that Western Coastal Plain can be divided into Konkan Coast and Malabar Coast, whereas Eastern Coastal Plain can be divided into Northern Sirkas and Koromandal Coast. And lastly, the backwaters of Kerala, which is very famous, is a part of Western Coastal Plain. So, Western Coastal Plain consists of backwaters. Conversely, Eastern Coastal Plain include large deltas that are formed by various peninsular rivers like Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri. So, these are the major points of distinction between Western and Eastern Coastal Plain. And these western and eastern coastal plain together comprises the coastal plains of India. So that's all about today's discussion on coastal plains of India. In our next lesson, we shall be focusing on Thar Desert, which is an interesting physical feature of India. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now